Circulator pumps from Taiko and Grunfos come in many variations, so I'm going to break down the features you can find, and when you're shopping for pumps, you'll know what you're looking for. First is material. Pumps will be made out of cast iron, bronze, or stainless steel. On the right is cast iron, which is the standard material of choice for closed loop circulating applications due to low cost and good performance in deoxygenated water. In the middle is bronze. It won't rust, but it will corrode over time. It's typical for open loop applications. Bronze housing is the only one which offers sweat connection options. On the left is stainless steel. It's a choice for open loop applications due to excellent corrosion and rust resistance, as well as good performance of steel at high temperatures. Stainless steel circulators are gradually replacing older, heavier, and more costly bronze models. Bronze and stainless steel circulators don't contain lead, so they can be used in potable water applications. Cast iron, on the other hand, contains lead, so it's not used in potable water applications. Every pump, no matter what the material, has an arrow on the back to show which way the water flows, so there's no second guessing which way to install the pump. Your connection options are flange, threaded, or sweated connection with bronze pumps. Flange is the most common connection type. It's the easiest to deal with as assembly and disassembly are simple. Service replacement in the long run is very easy because of shutoff valves. Flange has a universal shape and connects to the inlet and outlet but flange kits must have outlets that correspond to the type and size of the piping used, as you can see here. Flanges come in cast iron, stainless steel, and bronze. All flanges are sold separately from pumps. With bronze sweat connections, disassembly will be more difficult. You might use bronze because it's cheaper, and there's definitely no leaking because the pipes are melted, but it's harder to replace because you have to cut it out of the system. Circulators come in three options, single speed, three speed, and variable speed. Single speed is the most common option. It simply means your pump works at a fixed speed. Three speed circulators are the next most popular and have manual adjustment for speed change. Variable speed automatically changes flow rate depending on the settings. A hard wire provides more options. It can connect straight to the boiler instead of having to connect to an outlet and this armored jacket grounds the pump. A line cord, which is this plug, simply means it has to be installed near an outlet. By default, all Taco and Grunfos circulators are 115 volts. You can choose your pump head and gallons per minute based on the sizing of your pipes. Isolation valves are add-ons, which allow you to shut off the water around your pump. So if you want to repair or replace the pump, you don't have to drain your whole system. The timer control is designed to turn the circulator on and off at preset times, allowing the user to select operation of the circulator during high use periods of the day. Some pumps come with a check valve and some don't. Check valves simply prevent the backflow of water. Depending on the pump, an auto adapt feature can act like a variable pump or a timer. And make sure that the output of your pump automatically adjusts to constantly changing demand. An Aquastat kit is much like this. The temp switch gives you a range where the pump will be turned on and off. Circulator pumps have to be installed in a specific way. This way is okay, where the pumps are horizontal, and also this way is fine where the pump is vertical. But this is not good, this is no good, and you don't want to install it slanted. The many features of circulator pumps can be daunting, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask us in the comments section, and like the video if you found it helpful.